Hey guys, Portia here, and today I want to share with you three issues that may occur when you are doing the DTF sublimation hack. Now, just in case you're not familiar with that process, that hack allows you to use DTF products to sublimate on 100% cotton. But like with any hack, what you're pretty much doing is improvising or using improvised things to complete a task. And as with anything that you're trying to make work, it may not work properly the first time, but it doesn't mean that it won't work at all. So the first thing that I want to uh, discuss is what if your film will not go through the printer or whether when it goes through, it does not print. So the film for DTF is super thin. Um, and the first time that I went to print an image for this hack, so I use a converted Epson Echo Tank. I converted it from inkjet to sublimation. The first time I went to print, the film just glided straight through the printer as if nothing happening, uh, nothing to see here, folks. And I'm like, oh, wow. I mean, what happened there? So what I discovered is if I put a strip of painter's tape on the back, it actually adds weight to the film. And because the film is now weighted just a little bit more, the printer will recognize it as a piece of of paper and then it'll go ahead and print your image so that's the resolution if the, uh, the film is just running through your printer without actually printing now the next thing I want to discuss is what if you are printing and it literally stops right in the middle of printing so you only end up with like half an image now once again I mentioned that the film is super thin and the first uh, problem that I mentioned actually involves the second problem or is related to the second issue. I realized that if I put the painter's tape on just half of the film, and one thing I wanted to mention, the film is two-sided. There is a wrong side, which is the glossy side, and the right side, which is the matte side. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you print on the matte side. But as far as using the painter's tape hack, you are going to want to put the tape longwise all the way down um, to ensure that your... Um, picture is going to print out fully now what that looks like is I had gone to print before and I had put just tape right there halfway through and it only printed the image halfway and for the life of me I didn't understand what I was doing wrong I did waste materials but what I discovered is if I go ahead and put that tape all the way through it not only weights the film it also uh, allows the printer to recognize it all the way through so that the image is printed out 100% now, the last and final issue that I want to talk to you about is your powder melting. So in the DTF hack with sublimation, you print your image on the film and then you go ahead and you put your powder down. And what the, the powder does is it, it melts with the ink to allow it to stick better to the fabric. So what if that doesn't melt? So what I do is I use my Better Sub uh, heat press is 10 by 12 I'm sorry 10 by 15 I believe and I allow that to hover over my image with the powder on it and of course the sublimation ink and what happens is it go, goes ahead and it melts the um, the powder so that process is actually called curing now there are some people who had who have issues with curing whereas it won't cure completely and then there are spots um, the number one thing I want to say is make sure you check your temperature. I do it about 320 degrees. The next thing is you want to make sure that your heat source is close enough to the actual film itself, where is, whereas it will go ahead and cure or rather melt your powder into the sublimation ink. So for me, I have discovered about a half an inch away from the film. So we have our film and we have our heat source. And if it's about a half an inch away, I know that it is going to melt. And then um, as the heat press is hovering over, uh, make sure that it is also even. Now, another thing that you could try, so like a part B to this particular hack, if you don't want to deal with the heat press at all, you can actually use a heat gun. 
But guys, you're gonna wanna be very careful with this. So with the heat gun, you're gonna put the setting on low. And of course, once you've printed your image and you put your powder down and remove the extra, you are going to slowly rotate the heat gun over the image until the powder melts. Now, this is something, especially if you're not doing multiples, it's gonna be super easy to do. But the thing is, you don't. You wanna make sure you don't, one, burn your image, or two, um, over cure it. So, what curing looks like is, initially, when you put the powder down, the image is matte. Once it actually cures and it melts into the ink, it becomes glossy and it's also sticky, so don't touch it. But when it becomes glossy, we know that the powder has properly melted into the sublimation ink. Now, once that happens, even if you're using a heat gun, you are ready to move on to pressing the image onto your shirt. So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it. I just want to share with you those three issues that may come up when you are doing this DTF sublimation hack. So that's all I have for you today. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, just let me know. If you found this video helpful, just plain old entertaining, could you give it a thumbs up? But guys, as always, until next time, peace.